going to start with the A804 S119 uh, 804 Secretary uh, uh, Monsieur Carabas, 119 Secretary Whalen. Um, that bill uh, is, has been substituted. Uh, there's a committee substituted for uh, that bill for the record. Uh, those uh, pieces of legislation establish a New Jersey compassionate use of marijuana uh, process here in the state of New Jersey. We will bring uh, our assembly sponsor, Mr. Siora. Our Senate sponsor, uh, Mr. Uh, Terry, uh, to introduce this legislation to us. And you are, uh, you have our oh, I'm sorry. Uh, and, uh, and Mr. Uh, sponsor, uh, Mr. Carroll, our other assembly sponsor. And I think Joan Voss is coming over from uh, the committee meeting. Uh, just a uh, note, and I've talked to the sponsors about this already. We have heard this bill at length uh, before. And so we're not going to have uh, extensive testimony on various portions of the bill. The bill, as uh, I will tell you, is, is there a very, there's a favorable view of the bill on this committee, and this legislation will be moving today. And so your your uh, comment should be uh, should reflect uh, that, that important fact, which I've just related to you. Pardon me, Mr. Sherry. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, I just um, also wanted to thank my uh, co-prime sponsor. Sponsor uh, Michael Patrick Carroll. Um, I just do note that when we're ever on the same page, it's akin to uh, the Red River uh, Party. <laughs> Red Sea. Red Sea. <laughs> 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 Only the uh, Jeopardy contestant. You're heated. Um, uh, since our uh, last year, Mr. Chair, um, I think we've made some uh, improvements and, and request uh, various amendments. And, and I think uh, I, I do want to uh, recognize uh, two people that, that actually sparked ideas, besides yourself, Mr. Chairman, with your expertise and uh, uh, forwards. But I also want to uh, thank uh, specifically uh, someone with Mary Pat Angelini and uh, conference chair uh, Joan Quigley, who really uh, sparked us to rethink a lot of the versions of the uh, bill, uh, uh, address their concerns, and I think that um, they were uh, were responsive criticisms and uh, we want to make sure that this really deals with the patient and patient recovery and pain management, um, particularly when people are at their uh, terminal stages in life, uh, wasting syndrome with AIDS um, and have chronic ailments and when all other uh, medical treatments, uh, conventional treatments do not work, this will at least give an opportunity um, for patients and their doctors to explore alternative methods of treatment but in a responsible way. I, I know that Assemblywoman Angelini and uh, Assemblywoman Quigley um, were very concerned about opening floodgates of, of being irresponsible and allowing people that should not use this um, or abuse this and uh, certainly not send out a message that, that we're encouraging uh, illegal drug use. So with that, I do, uh, we, they still have to be happy with our, our changes, but I, I, I do want to say that um, we try to take responsible uh, means to address it. Um, specifically, some of the amendments um, that we are uh, requiring the uh, alternative center, centers to be nonprofits. We are removing the uh, allowing people to grow marijuana on their own. Um, we have uh, removed the role of caregivers as intermediaries to provide marijuana to their patients. Um, instead of uh, growing uh, plants and using caregivers, we're clarifying that there should be a courier delivery option that can be used um, uh, from, and that the patients themselves can pick up from these alternative centers. Um, we're uh, requiring that these centers be licensed uh, by the health department. Um, we're also requiring that the uh, report be issued to the legislature one year after enactment of this law to see where we're going, whether we need to restrict the language further or even expand it. Um, we're also tightening the definition of uh, the conditions for which uh, medical marijuana may be dispensed. And we're clarifying that the physician um, means only the physician who is treating uh, the condition that triggers the use of, uh, of medicinal marijuana. And we're uh, requiring the tracking of physician recommendations uh, so that, that we can avoid uh, potential for abuse. Um, with that, I'd like to introduce our other uh, sponsors. Um, and, and at the end of the day, I think that, that this is a work in progress, that there may be more changes necessary to this bill. 
uh, but that we're, we're advancing at the end of the day uh, compassionate use of medicinal marijuana so that we can really deal with uh, uh, some uh, chronic ailments that are out there and help people lead a more productive life. So thank you, Mr. Chairman, for this opportunity. Thank you, Mr. Cook.